Live streaming professionally is not necessarily an easy thing to accomplish if you've tried. <laughs> I get this question so often, which is, I bought the gear that you told me to, uh, but it doesn't look like you look. How do I look like you? How do I get that professional stream? It seems to confuse a lot of people. So today I want to dive into what the live streaming tech chain is because when you are looking to create professional live video, what happens is you have to have the entire chain of elements, essentially of uh, pieces to the puzzle so that you have that professional stream. If one of those pieces of the chain is broken or not as high quality as it can be, then guess what? It's not going to look like you have in your ideal of the, you, you know, in your mind for that ideal like professional stream. So that's what I wanna to cover today. I wanna to make sure that you understand exactly what it is you need and all of the different pieces of that chain. Now, if you've never been around here, please do type new in the comments. I'd love, love, love to meet you. And if you don't know me, then I'm Lori Petrucci and I am from Live Streaming Pros where we help you create professional live video that is uniquely you. Now, here is the deal. Uh, this show is Go Live Now, where we actually help you uh, create professional live video, where we dive in to Ecamm software a lot, uh, but not just Ecamm, but this is a partnership that I do with Ecamm, and I am currently using Ecamm if you had any questions. So welcome to Go Live Now. Now, as we dive into all of this, I see a bunch of new people talking, um, new to Ecamm Karma Cashflow, that's awesome. Uh, I am actually using this entire setup. So I am using Ecamm, you can, um, it, with the camera and the switcher and all of this stuff. Uh, if you have any questions about what it is I am using, you can always head on over to livestreamingpros.com slash GLN um, and make sure that you look at that, uh, get all the links there, everything is there in one place for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> so um, as we dive in to what is it that it will create your professional streams, I want you to keep in mind that, you know, we actually kind of go through all of this in one place inside of our workshops. I'll tell you about that later, but that link is in the description as well. Um, because not everything is as easy as it may seem. Um, but we try and break it down for you. There are a lot of nuances around live video, a lot of decisions that, that you need to make along the way. So let's look at this chain. When you are looking to create professional live video, it, it requires all of the pieces, like I said earlier, right? So first and foremost is your internet speed. If you don't have a solid internet connection, that will break your professional tech chain, right? So uh, the internet speed, we prefer to see you have 10 megabits per second upload speed in order to have a solid stream. We prefer you to have connection, like a hardwire connection via ethernet. Uh, that way you don't have any drops through Wi-Fi. If you have enough speed, you can probably get away with Wi-Fi, but let's, let's keep that on the down low. <laughs> so we want you to have 10 megabits per second upload speed that is different than download speed. So you can always check your internet speed by going to Google and just typing in speed test. There's a blue button that says run speed test and you can see what your speed is. Can you get by with less than 10 megabits per second? Yes, however, you might have some quality issues. So that's the first piece of the tech chain. The second is your camera, right? So uh, there are different uh, different types of cameras you can get, different uh, you know levels in terms of monetary investment. Uh, so if you're using the onboard camera, uh, from your laptop, for example, you're not gonna get the highest quality. Then you might go up to, say, a Logitech USB webcam. Then you're gonna get better quality, but it's not going to be as high quality. And then if you are able to step it up into the professional side of things, 
where you have a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, that is where you're going to have the best possible piece of this tech chain. Um, so we recommend uh, the a the Sony A6400. Um, that is a great quality camera, has super fast autofocus. I actually am using the Sony A5100, which is a bit more of a budget camera on that Sony A6000 line. Um, but I'm also using a lens, which creates the lens with the camera is that next piece of that tech professional chain because the lens will do a ton of the work of making it look professional, especially if you want the blurry background effect. Um, we do have a link to the, um, we do have a link to a video where we talk about the blurry background effect and what lenses you need to accomplish that. I am using a 56 millimeter lens. Uh, it's a, it's a Sigma F 1.4 lens. Now, we don't recommend that lens for most people. I have a teleprompter. My computer, I mean, my, my camera is far away from me. Um, I have a lot of space behind me as well. So that's why I use that lens. But the lens that we recommend for most people is the Sigma 16 millimeter lens. Um, and again, you can find all of this information here at livestreampros.com slash GLN as well. Remember, if you do have questions around all of this, I'm tackling questions at the end. So type Q in front of your question. The next thing in the professional tech chain is of course your computer. The computer is really where it's at um, in terms of all of the hard work of live streaming. Live streaming is like one of the, well, yeah, like gaming and live streaming, two of the hardest things you can ask your computer to do because it takes a ton of processing power. So uh, I would highly recommend uh, taking a look at if you are on a Mac. I had a great conversation with Glenn, who is one of the co-founders of Ecamm, and uh, that's the software that I'm using, but we talked about Mac specs. So if you have questions around that, I would highly suggest watching that video. Uh, we can drop a link in the description um, for that as well. Uh, but the computer, you can't get the super highest quality uh, professional live stream that you're looking for with a, you know, six-year-old computer that doesn't have enough processing power. So just be aware that as you're building out your live streaming studio, uh, you have to have all of these different pieces. And if one piece of the chain is the weak link, and for most people, that is the computer, then they then you will have some um, give and take to, to, ha to have in your, in your setup, right? So like, you're not going to have that super highest quality of your stream if your computer can't handle all the things that you're asking it to do. Okay, so uh, the next piece is the software. I was talking about the fact that I use Ecamm, but let me break down for those of you who are not familiar, and let me know in the chat room, are you familiar with the four levels of live streaming. This is something that us at Live Streaming Pros um, created to help you understand how you actually can step up that ladder to professional. So level one is going live from your phone. That is the super simplest, super easiest way to go live, of course, but it is, of course, not going to be the highest quality. You can't do all of the fancy things um, that you see us do. For instance, you're never going to have like, a screen that looks like this, right? <laughs> this is not gonna happen. So uh, that's level one. Then level two is going live from a cloud-based service, meaning you just log on, to a, uh, on your browser, onto a website, and you go live from there. That is another piece that I see so many people struggling with because what happens is they'll buy the gear that we have and then they'll say, but I'm using I'm going live through facebook.com or I'm using StreamYard. Why doesn't my quality look like yours? I'm using the same gear that you use. If that's a question on your brain, the reason is because of this piece of the tech chain, which is the software itself. What are you using? So cloud-based services at that level two, never gonna give you the highest quality possible, but they're super easy to get started with, right? So that's why, we have them in that process because you can get started simply and quickly there. But 
they are never going to deliver that higher quality result that you're looking for. So that's where we wind up on level three, which is downloadable software. We recommend Ecamm on a Mac. Uh, then you can actually get a free trial and free tutorial series right here. Um, but that's Ecamm on a Mac. If you are on a Mac, that's the software that I am using and that we recommend for you. And also if you're on a PC, then you can actually use vMix on a PC. Those are the two softwares at a level three and four that we recommend. Going up to level four is adding some accessories, which we'll talk about here in a minute, but adding those accessories um, where you can have a full TV quality production. You're the producer. You don't need a separate person to run your show and you look as good or better than a TV you know, news station, for example. Um, also, inside of the software itself, you have settings available to you. In Ecamm, they're very, um, they're very easy to understand. You can choose to go 1080, uh, you can choose to go 4K. Uh, we, we don't always recommend going streaming in 4K for a number of reasons. We have a video on our YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash live streaming pros, all about that. Um, but also, uh, you know, you could change the quality to 720 if you're struggling with your internet speed. Um, and, but your settings within the, within the software also are a piece of this chain. They matter. So um, if you're on vMix, for instance, you can actually adjust the bit rate that you're sending out a signal to. Now, different platforms, which is the next piece of this chain, is the platform that you're streaming to, different platforms accept different bit rates. So if you don't know what a bit rate is, um, I, we have a video all about that. Our moderators are gonna drop that link in the comments to that video. But bit rates are essentially uh, uh, the ability to, um, <laughs> uh, the ability to actually uh, change the quality. And by the way, my, uh, so Callie just said, uh, I forgot to actually change my quality back to 1080. I was doing some testing. So actually you're probably not getting the highest quality stream from me today, uh, because I was actually doing some testing with different settings, uh, earlier, uh, this week and I forgot to change it back to 1080. So my apologies for that. But yeah. So the settings inside of the software. So for me, I should have been at 1080 today to get that higher quality, right? So that actually matters. Then again, like I said, the platform is that next piece of the chain. And then, like I mentioned earlier, accessories. So accessories, while not necessary for the entire piece of the chain to get that highest quality, it will make it easier. So that's what we're looking at at the level four is adding these accessories, things like the stream deck, this little controller uh, that I have a physical switcher to be able to control all my camera settings or all my camera angles, my different, uh, the, the graphics that I've showed uh, up on screen, things like that. Also different monitors, having a multiple monitor set up is really beneficial to having an easier production, something that is not as frustrating to run um, when you're using a single monitor setup. Uh, then also multiple cameras, things like that. Just those accessories or those add-ons that help create that professional uh, stream that you're looking for. So those are the pieces of the puzzle or the links in the chain that we're looking at. Again, if one of those pieces is a weak link, that is why you're not getting the professional stream that you're looking for. Um, that because I get this question so very often, um, I just wanted to make sure that you had that knowledge because it's such an important piece of streaming. Um, you have to have all of those pieces. Now, let me start by, or let me finish by saying, you don't need to have all of those right at once, okay? Please do get started with streaming without all of the pieces in the puzzle, all of the links in the chain, because all of that takes time to build out and that's okay. Get started where you are, do the things, go live, get used to live and add a link in the chain every so often, as quickly as you can, but don't get frustrated if your stream doesn't look super professional right away. So we actually have a, um, sorry, I was looking for something. There we go. 
<laughs> I was looking for something on my stream deck. I didn't know where it was. Um, so here at livestreamingpros.com slash studio is our DIY training workshop. It takes you through a really important planning stage. It takes you through exactly what you need in order to accomplish the professional live stream. So we tell you the gear you need. We give you diagrams to lay all of that out. Uh, in fact, we actually have a get started quickly uh, section of this where you can get started without any gear and still have a more professional stream. You're not gonna look like we do, but without gear, you can actually get started. And then you have a planning stage. You need to plan for the future. You need to know what it is you're trying to accomplish and then you'll know what to buy. Then we go through the building process with you. We talk about everything you need to know to build out your studio. And then we give you software training uh, for recording and going live. So again, that's at livestreamingpros.com studio. I would love to see you inside of the workshop so that we can give you all of those links of the chain and make sure that you have a solid professional live streaming setup. All right, we are live every Thursday uh, for Go Live Now at 10 a.m. Pacific. Those of you watching live, we're gonna hop on over to Q&A. If you're watching the replay, thank you so much for being here. Drop your questions in the comments and we will be sure to answer them. Have a wonderful day.